wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking the Dreaded D-Rolls report. Hang on, you won't have to put up with me too long. There's not much going on today, but here's what I got. UFC uh, President Dana White, he spoke with MMAJunkie.com about the recent uh, meeting he had with WWE superstar and former FCW, uh, rather UFC star, and heavyweight champ Brock Lesnar after the UFC 146 fight. Well, they're hitting a lot. Anyway, he says the meeting did not go well. Probably the worst meeting we've ever had with Brock Lesnar, and I haven't talked to him uh, since. It's one of those things where it's not worth getting into public, uh, you know, publicity-wise or publicly-wise. Uh, also, Dana told uh, them it's not worth getting into the BS over it. Dana shot down the rumor that the meeting was just deployed to bring more interest to Lesnar's uh, WWE storyline. He also said that he didn't know if the door for Lesnar to return to UFC was closed for good. Dana also revealed in a text message from Lesnar uh, before they met, and this was before they met, says uh, he texted me and said, I want to come to the fight, but uh, keep it quiet because I don't want to uh, tell anybody. Dana White said, uh, uh, he said, uh, what are you going to do tonight? He says, I want to talk face to face. That was it, and I guess they didn't, didn't go with it. Hey, um, happy birthday to Mexican star uh, Damien666, 51 years old, and this would have been the birthday of WWE Hall of Famer The Sheik, 88 years old. Uh, the Rock is in New Orleans, by the way, today, uh, filming uh, Empire State. WWE uh, champion uh, CM Punk confirmed uh, that he's going to be replacing Randy Orton on SmackDown tours during uh, Orton's suspension. He replied on a uh, to a fan on Twitter, looks that way, yes, picking up the <laughs> pieces, I guess. Uh, anyway, as uh, noted before, WWE has pulled Intercontinental Champion Christian from this weekend's live event as he's going to be appearing at TNA Slammiversary pay-per-view. Christian is currently not advertised for any WWE tapings until July 23rd, 1000th edition of Raw, and is still uh, advertised for live events. But they're keeping him off TV. Not sure what the deal is there. Apparently they know more about the business than I do. Hopefully. Tom Pritchard, he was recently uh, released as head FCW trainer. And it's now on, uh, he's on Twitter now at uh, Dr. Tom Pritchard. And he can be booked at uh, book Dr. Tom Pritchard. <laughs> AOL.com. A uh, announced for uh, SmackDowns last night uh, was Brodus Clay had been uh, moved over to SmackDown brand and they have uh, removed the profile from the roster page over to the SmackDown page. Uh, WWE is, I guess they only want a couple of big men on there. Plus, I think they want to keep Brodus's winning streak going for a while. WWE has pulled uh, Intercontinental, I done told you that uh, about Christian. And WWE Hall of Famer, good old Cold Stone Steve Austin, his uh, new reality uh, show, Redneck Island, premieres tonight, 10.30, well, Eastern Standard Times, on uh, TMC. So remember, that. Uh, we'll have to check it out, see what kind of ratings they get, and well, it's any good. The premiere episode will be a two-hour long one, so set your DVR. And for you old folks, set the VCR. Kevin Ash, he was pulled out of West Virginia's independent wrestling event this Sunday because the promoter didn't pay him. Duh. I wouldn't be showing up either. He says, sorry, uh, Damian Lee did not show up with his funds in Pittsburgh, so I will not be at Sunday's event. I gave him a second chance. If that's not the owner of the promotion, um, the guy could have went to Vegas instead. Uh, we noted before uh, that R-Truth, he was absent from Raw live events in Spain, and Zack Ryder had to team up with Kofi Kingston, and uh, last night's live event in, in uh, Valencia, Spain, it was Brodus Clay who teamed with Kingston to defend the WWE Tag Team titles. Odd. Well, here's why. It's not confirmed yet, but uh, reports going around that R-Truth is suffering from a broken foot. Duh, well, I'll be out of action for a while, too. All right, uh, out, uh, upcoming WWE SmackDown, here's the updated card for the WWE No Way Out pay-per-view. This is after last night's uh, SmackDown. 
Anyway, we got a steel cage match, Big Show and John Cena. We got the WWE title match, Brian, Kane, Punk, World Heavyweight title match, going to be Sheamus, Del Rio, and WWE Intercontinental Champion uh, Cody Rhodes, or match, uh, Cody Rhodes taking on Christian. And a few rumors that WWE may be parting ways, and let's just start this rumor real hard here. They may be parting ways with Randy Orton as a result of his second violation of the wellness program. Former WCW Mark Madden states on Thursday on Twitter, WWE wants to get rid of Orton permanently. Character is and popularity is have plateaued, and he's a pain to deal with. And we all know that Mark Madden knows more than anyone in the wrestling world. I didn't know he was still around myself. But, hey, in response to a statement, the Twitter user asked Madden uh, whether Vince McMahon had suddenly stopped uh, making money, or liking money, and uh, Madden responded, Vince thinks everybody in WWE creation uh, is a WWE creation, and therefore disposable and replaced by another WWE cre creation, and you're uh, overreacting, Orton. WWE Wrestling Observer uh, Newsletter reported that uh, Wednesday there's a small amount of vocal pockets within the sports entertainment organization lobbying for his uh, termination and Vince McMahon is reportedly contemplating the move but many employees believe that he will ultimately relate, uh, retain the nine-time world champion due to lack of roster depth which is oh so true between injuries and suspensions and uh, just being gone. Uh, Wrestling Observer added that there are people within WWE uh, saying Orton's hiatus isn't uh, going to be that big a problem. For the first time, employees are open to categorizing uh, Punk as a second-ranked babyface rather than uh, uh, Punk and Orton being on the same level. Uh, many also feel SmackDown's uh, babyface side has uh, an adequate has been kind of adequate with the uh, Sheamus, Christians, and Kara Ray Mysterio returning soon from suspension, as long as you don't get suspended again, uh, Mysterio. And the option to turn Daniel Bryant at a, a moment's notice, you know, to the face. I uh, <coughs> got my own opinion on, uh, I better get, not get into that. So anyway, former WWE star card Lito is um, the latest wrestling name to take aim at Brooke Hogan. Why? I don't know. But anyway, he posted a message on Twitter uh, mocking her uh, role uh, uh, on screen an authority figure and backstage consultant for the knockout. He said, Brooke Hogan in TNA is a blessing for Mickey James. Brooke will uh, help her improve her wrestling skills and teach her how to be a star, Carlito wrote. And uh, after James didn't respond, he added, I just received sad news. Apparently, Mickey James is not speaking to me anymore. <laughs> I have no idea what I said or what I did to make her feel that way. Well, just because somebody don't speak to you, maybe they they got their phone and whatever on them. They all have turned on. All right, Sarita, also known as Dark Angel, if you don't know, competes in uh, Mexico tonight. She wrote on Facebook, picture it myself, Lady Apache, uh, Marcella, Delize, uh, Lady Aphrodite, and uh, let's... Anyway, Tiffany and uh, uh, somebody named Luna Magical all in the ring at the same time. M uh, CMLL is making it happen tonight. Don't miss the show uh, at the arena in Mexico. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss it. I hope it's on tape. Former WWE star Chris Masters. Competed in a dark match prior to uh, Thursday's live Impact Wrestling in Orlando, losing to Robbie E. Following the appearance, he tweeted, uh, MTI went down tonight, and once uncertain future is looking up, <laughs> if you're flat on your back on the mat, it's looking up. And then he said he would accept the Crimson's, Crimson's open challenge uh, this Sunday at Slammiversary. Uh, full content, by the way, of uh, WWE Falls Count Anywhere DVD and Blu-rays, which hits stores um, two weeks, June 26th. It starts out with, uh, i got five minutes left, hang on. It starts out, it says, uh, Alley Fight, Pat Patterson, Sergeant Slaughter from 1981. Uh, Atlanta Street Fight, Jimmy Valiant, Miss Atlanta, Lively, versus Midnight Express. Uh, that's Starcade 85, Falls Count Anywhere. 
uh, Street Fight uh, NWA Tag Team Title is going to be Doom versus uh, Barry Windham, Arn Anderson, 1990. And uh, Falls Count Anywhere matches Sting taking on Cactus Jack, uh, Beach Blast, 1992. Falls Count Anywhere with Macho Man, uh, Randy Savage taking on Crush. That's WrestleMania 10, 1994. Uh, Windy City, a Chicago street fight. is going to be Booker T and Sting taking on Road Warriors, 1996 at Uncensored. Uh, Chicago, well, let's see. Ahmed Johnson and the Legion of Doom taking on Farouk, Savio Vega, and uh, Crush, WrestleMania 13. It's 97. Cold Stone, uh, Cold Stone, Cold, Stone Cold. Is that his name? Stone Cold, okay. Steve Austin taking on Brett Hitman Hart. 1997. That was on Raw. Uh, that's this one. This two. Uh, ball, oh, let's see. Uh, Cactus Jack taking on Triple H in 97. Uh, Taz taking on Bam Bam Bigelow. Heat Wave, uh, 1998. Hardcore Championship. Al Snow taking on Hardcore Holly. Uh, St. Ta- Valentine Day Massacre, 1999. Fully loaded. Uh, strap matches. The Rock taking on Triple H, uh, 99. Uh, love her or leave her Greenwich Street Fight Test versus Shane McMahon SummerSlam 1999. WWE uh, Championship match is a big show taking on Kane at Raw in 99. Hardcore Championship match Crash Holly versus the Headbangers. Uh, I would think the be that's a I don't know. Don't show uh, he got anybody with him. Must be a handicap. Anyway, that was uh, in 2000. Uh, Mr. McMahon versus Shane McMahon on Raw, nine, or rather uh, 2001. And Mr. McMahon taking on Ric Flair, Royal Rumble 2002. And uh, unsanctioned street fight, Shawn Michaels taking on Triple H, SummerSlam 2002. Triple H taking on Kevin Nash, Insurrection uh, 2003. And uh, Melina taking on uh, Mickey James, 2007 on Raw. Uh, Street Fight, Triple H uh, taking on Umanga. That was Cyber Sunday, which we no longer have. Uh, 2007, Street Fight, uh, John Cena taking on Umanga, 2008. That was on Raw. And Submission Counts Anywhere, Degeneration X taking on Legacy, Breaking Point, 2009. Uh, Rey Mysterio taking on Batista on SmackDown 2009 and Randy Orton taking on Cody Rhodes 2011 on SmackDown. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, bra- bra- Boiler Room Brawl. Mankind versus Santa Claus 2000, or 1999 on Raw. And we got uh, Triple H versus Sheamus. Extreme Rules uh, 2010. Rey Mysterio taking on Cody Rhodes, Extreme Rules, uh, 2011. And uh, Randy Orton taking on Kane, 2011 on SmackDown. That uh, should be good DVD. Looking forward to it. I'm looking backwards to it, too. Thanks for uh, clicking, you guys. I got to go.